Hello, it's December 17th, <sighs> and I don't want to get up. I was up, had breakfast, and now I'm back in bed. I didn't really sleep too good last night. So, I don't really feel like doing anything. Um, but I need to fix my nails, so I'll probably take a nap, then get up, and I'm going to fix my nails because they're grown, and I think the shape is, it's comfortable, but I want something that's like, oh, uh, I'm probably going to do them just like really round and shorter, so, um, just so I get used to it with the baby so I don't hurt him so yep that's today Thursday tomorrow I have a doctor's appointment so hopefully I'll have a little bit more energy hi guys hello so I'm back Still day 17, and I am going to be fixing my claws. Um, I just have a towel here. So, <clears throat> the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the shape of my nail. So, I have my file, and um, I'm going to show you guys without the machine because um, it's really loud, my extractor. But, anyways, um. They're point, they're like almond shape. I don't know if you see, it's like the shape of an almond. And now I'm going to turn them round. <clears throat> I'm gonna use, this is a nail form as a guide for my length, cause there's lines on there. I like using this because it guarantees that my nails are like exactly the correct size I mean they're all the same size yeah <clears throat> now I don't know how long I'm gonna go yet because it's all about what I feel <laughs> so this, these are actually my natural nails underneath I just have a thin layer of acrylic on top because if I don't, um, they tend to break. So I really do enjoy putting a little bit of acrylic on top so that they can um, last me a while and they grow. Um, oh my God, let's see what size. It's up to the S. Um, I think that's a good size. Okay, so I am done shaping. Hopefully, they're like in frame. So they all should be um, about the same size. So now I'm going to remove the gel. Um, shaping will get better as um, <laughs> I remove it because it. Um, it will um, it will address like the rest of the the issues with the shaping when I remove the polish and then go in with the acrylic and you file one more time so shaping will get better but anyways I'm gonna go in with my drill bit and my Manny Pro Go ahead and put it on here and the way I do it is like this and sometimes like this be careful not to get on your cuticle because it will hurt so I'm gonna turn on the machine okay so now that I have removed all the polish I am going to go in with a cuticle pusher and push down my cuticles like so, like that. Who am I? Okay. 
Okay. It's a little difficult because you're doing it on yourself and you're also trying to be on frame. But anyways, that'll work. And with my cuticle nippers, I'm going to go around and remove my cuticle because it's the point of having beautiful nails and just disgusting skin. Okay, so I have removed all the cuticle from my um, nails and now I'm going to go in with the sand band, I believe. <laughs> Sorry, my heartburn. <laughs> and it's the I use the fine zebra print ones. And what you're gonna do is remove the natural shine from your nail, from your natural nail, which helps so that um, the acrylic will stick on. But here I'm starting off at, on the acrylic part. And then I'll move up. Just because it lets me like warm up a little bit. And also to help with the shaping because we did shorten the nails. Um, you know they're kind of they're they're arch and then they're thin. So by shortening it, they look a little bit uh, bulkier, I guess. So I want to thin it out so that it's like nice and aesthetically pleasing. Okay, so nails are prepped. We remove the color and what we shaped. Remove the color, remove the cuticle, and remove the uh, natural shine from the nail. So I'm just going to use my Bond Aid to remove any little bit of dust that's still left behind. And then you can go in with your primer. This is the, um, sorry, <clears throat> this is the Young Nails primer. I love this primer. And you only put it around your natural nail bed. Try not to get it, although it shouldn't burn or anything, but don't get it on your cuticle area. If it burns, it means, it means you, um, you kind of nick your cuticle or your skin like that. <sighs> get any... My clear powder. And my monomer. And a little dampened dish. This is the brush that I'm using. It's a Creations uh, Kalinsky brush. It's a size 16. So you go ahead and dip it in there. Okay, so let's start with my first bead. This is a fill, so you don't need that much acrylic. So what I did is I put the bead and then I pushed it and then I swept it, sweeped it down. I'm going to have to go back in on this side and have a little bit more. Okay, now that I put 
all the liquids away with my file I'm gonna go in and I kind of you know push down the sides and just shape the uh, the um, perimeter of there I guess right yeah kind of going over shaping okay and now with my metal drill bit this is a fine um, bit I am going to go in and file I start around the cuticle area and then move it down um, this can be scary so you have to be very careful because you can cut someone or you can cut yourself if you're doing your own nose. It takes time and practice. filing. I'm going to get my little square buffer and just go over the toe and the bottom. I like to use these lint free wipes and with some alcohol. And now you can put whatever color you want on top. Okay, so I took a break from Mamanyong's to make some food. And by make some food, I'm just <laughs> literally um, heating up um, pre-made pre food, frozen food. But I kind of want some milk tea, so I'll milk some milk tea. And I'm gonna have beef and broccoli. And I have some white rice from last night's meal. So that'll be lunch. Because we hungry. That doesn't look too bad. A few moments later. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm back from my lunch break. <laughs> there are things are ready to go. I'm going to use this gel Luxor polish, gel polish in 150. It's like a nude color. <clears throat> I'm gonna be adding some kind of angel sticker. And I also have a little bit of fairy dust. So let's see. So, yeah. So I'm done with the gel polish. It came out really, really pretty. This is just two coats. That's all I need. And now with my fairy dust, I am going to go in and <clears throat> with a sponge, pick some up and I'm going to do these three. So it's really easy. You just tap it on your nail because it's already sticky. So I don't need to add anything else. Okay, so these are my little clouds that I created. I'm using this little brush that I have. It's actually a 3D art brush, but it works just as fine. And I'm using a white gel color. And basically, this is my first time doing it, but basically you concentrate the color at the top and kind of start shaping 
like I was saying, um, you kind of start dragging it down the color, and that's going to give you that like faded, very soft cloud look. And <clears throat> you, know, like you you just do like 20 seconds. And then I'm going to go in with thinking an angel from here and from here. And I'll top coat them and show you guys the finished result. Okay. <laughs> Um, I'm on my way to my three nine week appointment. Um, okay, no, nope. I don't know how to use this car. Are you kidding me? I'm in car, but I do not know how to use the windshields. I'll figure that out right now. Um, anyways, I'm probably gonna go get um. Uh, something to drink from Coffee Bean really quickly and then head over there and see how it goes. Okay, bye. Hello. So, um, it's still day 18. It's a little later. Um, I'm recording from my phone, so we'll see what it looks like. But, um, so I have my appointment and, um, everything's fine. He sounds good. Um, Definitely doesn't look like he wants to come out anytime soon. But they say anything can change. So we'll see. Um, due date is the 27th, so it is like nine days away. Um, at home, uh, did this regular boring errands. And, but I did, um, I did fix my, uh, right hand. So, now both my hands are done um and i'm gonna make myself something to eat right now so yeah talk to you guys later